All right, what's going on friends? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change oil on a 2022 Pilot. And it looks like this should be the same for a 2019, 2020, and a 2021. First, I'm gonna show you all the tools I'm gonna to use. All right, I'm gonna end up putting my car up on jack stands. Uh, you may be able to just turn the tire and jack it up a little bit, but I'm gonna end up putting it up on jack stands and taking one of the tires off. You'll see what I mean when I take the tire off when it comes to changing this oil filter. But I'm gonna use two jack stands and it does take 5.7 quarts. So I got two large ones, two five quart containers. You could just go get one five quart and then just buy one extra quart of zero W20. It'd also be nice to have a long funnel like this. You're gonna want a new filter. Now I just have this STP. They had a deal going at the auto parts store I was at to buy some mobile one and you got one of these with it. So um, if you do get an STP filter, it is a S7317. Um, you're gonna need a filter wrench uh, to take the drain plug out. It's a 17 millimeter. And if you do end up taking the tire off, it is a 21 millimeter. And I am gonna torque the drain plug back on and it may be nice to have just a piece of cardboard so you don't make a real big mess. And I'm also gonna use my floor jack. All right, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is pop your hood. I'll show you where you can pop your hood at inside your car. You just go in the driver's side and right here is where I'm gonna pop my hood on this Honda Pilot. Just pull that out. And then when your hood pops up, you'll reach, you're gonna reach right under your hood and you'll have to push this over like this and you'll be able to pick your hood up. All right, we got our hood up right to the right of where this, the part that holds your hood down, right down in here is where you're gonna, this is where you're gonna fill your oil, right there. It also says on there zero W20 and right over here, this is where you're gonna check your oil. That's your dipstick. So while we're under here, we can, Take this fill cap off. Just lay that up there. That's gonna help that drain. Uh, see some junk around. I make sure this junk don't go down in there. There, I just push that out of the way. I don't want that to go in there. You're also probably gonna want some paper towels or a rag. All right, before I even change this, I wanna check my oil just to see where it's at. And I'm going, I'm just going by what it says in my, in the Honda, it tells you when to change your oil. If, if you reset your computer. So you just pull that out. Should, it's going to, might be a little tight. Pull that all the way out. Now I'm going to wipe that off once. It is saying, saying your oil should be somewhere in this, this little hash part in here in this dipstick. The oil should be right somewhere in the middle of that. Maybe little at the t maybe a little bit closer to the top but that's what it says in the manual so I'm going to put that back down in there pull it back out all right that is where my oil's at mine's all the way at the top of that I'm going to try to get mine at the top of that when I fill this up so we'll see if that 5.7 quarts gets it there I also do have a new crush washer because when you take that drain plug out, there's going to be a crush washer in there. So I might replace that crush washer on mine. Now, if you go to an auto parts store or a Honda shop and just ask for all this, they'll give you what crush washer you need. And even, especially if you go to a Honda place that sells Hondas, they're going to give the exact oil and your exact filter. All right, I'm going to go under here and right, right here is where I'm going to jack my car up at. Now, I'm just going to go up till my tire comes off the ground. You may be able to just go up a little bit and turn your tires. You may not even have to take that tire off if you don't, don't want to, because that's where the filter's at. I'll show you that here when I go to take it off. It's on the passenger side. But 
I'm going to take it off because it's going to be easier to show you guys this stuff. I have an impact gun, so I'm going to take my all these lug nuts off after I get it up. If you don't have an impact gun, I recommend loosening your lug nuts before you start jacking it up because your tire is going to want to spin on you. There we go. All right, it's off the ground. All right, right here is where I put my jack stands. If you look up under there, this big piece of metal here, you can put your jack stands on. Now I just got mine kind of under there for safety because I'm going to leave that floor jack on there with this car jacked up. All right, and I'm also going to put a couple of wheel chalks in the front and the back of one of my tires just for safety. Now, if you don't have them, you could just put a piece of wood in there if you want, just so, just to be extra cautious so this car doesn't move at all. All right, if you're going to use an impact gun like I am, it wouldn't hurt to have hearing protection in. And also, when you get under there, another thing might not hurt to have is some eye protection. Oh, and one thing I did forget, too, is your drain pan. Very important. If you didn't know you needed a drain pan and you're changing your oil, you probably shouldn't be changing your oil if you didn't know you needed a drain pan anyway. All right, let's get this tire out of the way. Right there's your oil filter. So if you didn't want to take your tire off, you might be able to just turn this wheel and get in there to get to that filter. But I'm also going to show you a trick because when you take that filter off, it's going to get oil all over your frame. So I'm going to do a trick like I do on a lot of stuff and in a lot of my lawnmower videos. I just take a little piece of cardboard, fold it up, stick it in there, and I don't make a mess. Let me get these out of my ear so I quit yelling at you. All right, this is where I'm going to put my cardboard down under my car. So it'll help catch if I get any mess. I really don't want to get oil all over the floor of my garage. And then let me show you where we're going to drain this. AC feels good. I put one of the Mr. Cool ACs in my garage. It feels wonderful. If you want to see that video, I also have a video on how I put that Mr. Cool AC in here. It's like... 70 something degrees in my garage right now and like 90 something outside but this right here is the drain plug like i said 17 millimeter it says right here engine oil really can't screw it up but let me move this out of the way so i can loosen this ah, ouch okay let's crack loose Make sure your pan is lined up. I don't know if I said in the beginning too, another thing you should do is warm your engine oil up. Like take it, take your car for a little, maybe go for maybe half a mile and come back so your engine oil is warmed up. And that crush washer is coming off with it. So make sure you see that crush washer. You don't want to take this drain plug off and have a crush washer on there and then try to put a new one on. I mean, unless you don't replace it. A lot of people won't even replace that. I think you will be okay if you don't have one of them. I've done that many times, did not replace it. But I do recommend replacing it every few oil changes at least. It doesn't cost that much. There we go. Let that drain. All right, while you're waiting for your oil to drain, if you have a drain pan like mine, I'm just going to spin it around a little bit. I'm going to take this oil filter off. Kind of nice that Honda made this kind of simple. Now I'm just going to take a piece of this cardboard that I got. There we go. Okay, just take that little piece. Now we are going to, I think it's too big really. Perfect, I think. I have that cardboard in there and it's just kind of pushing up against this piece of plastic here. So when I take that filter off, it should all drain into my drain pan. My filter wrench. Oh, look at that. I get, oh, there we go. I thought my cardboard was going to be in the way. This filter wrench barely fits. Okay, 
I got it. I think I can do it by hand now. Got my cardboard moved. Look at that. It's beautiful. Let that drain a second. That saved from making a big mess. Worked perfect. While we let that drip and the drain plug drip for just a little while, I'm going to go in and reset my oil life. All right, this is how you reset your oil. Um, don't put your foot on the brake. Tap that engine start button. And I think I just hold that in. Yeah, you just kind of tap it a second time. And then it's going to turn on. Now we are going to go over here on the steering wheel, at least on mine, it's on the steering wheel. I'm going to push enter until I get to the right menu. Just keep pushing enter. Oh, oil life. Now I already reset mine, but I'm going to show you how to reset this. So you get the oil life. And if you want to reset that, you just push enter and hold it in for 10 seconds. So I'm holding the enter button in for 10 seconds. And this will come up. Then I go down to all do items. And I just push enter. And it says reset complete. And then it will go to 100%. And then you can turn your, make sure you turn your car back off. All right, now that everything's pretty much completely done draining, I'm gonna put my new engine oil filter on. Now, make sure the rubber gasket on your old filter came off of that. So you could just pick up, pick up your old filter, make sure there's a rubber gasket on it. You don't wanna to try to put a new filter right on top of another rubber gasket, this seal right here, this rubber seal. Now, I'm gonna take a little bit of my brand new oil, just dip my finger down in it, and put a little oil on this seal. That way, it will go on real nice. And you don't have to worry about that getting stuck on there. All right, now, I'm gonna pull this cardboard out. Twist that on. Now you should be able to just put this on hand tight. That should be good. All right, now we're ready to go down under there, put that drain plug back in, and we're gonna fill this thing up with some oil. All right, now I did put a new crush washer on. And it's just pretty much for a 17 millimeter. Let me wipe this off a little bit. And if you do have a torque wrench, it's 29 foot pounds. Here we go. All right, now I have my filter on and I have my drain plug back tightened up to, like I said, 29 foot-pounds if you do have a torque wrench. Make sure you have both of them put back on and now it should be time to put some new oil in. Like I said, it was 5.7 quarts. I have my long funnel. Put that down in there. Should be able to put this whole five quarts in. I like to let that sit for just a little bit, let that drain out completely. All right, now I'm just gonna put that last 0.7 of a quart in.
I had that all measured out in here. If you have a full quart, you're just going to want to pour in. It's going to be almost a full quart, so just pour some in and you might have to check this. But like I said, when you do check it, when you do check this, it's probably going to be nice that it's closer to the top of them hash marks. Other things that you could do maybe while you're sitting here waiting, maybe it's to that so that completely drains out if you want, if you're like I am. You could be filling your, um, right down here, if you have any. This is where your windshield washer fluid goes. You could fill that up. And if you have it, right here is the air filter. There looks like we have a little spot here. You would unclip that one, unclip this one. Okay, there's a clip here in the back. I would clip off and Looks like that's it, just them three. And this is your air, air filter if you have a brand new one. Like, oh, we'll look at ours. I guess I better go buy a new air filter and replace that because we're about ready to go on a big trip. So I'll get that tomorrow. But that's where you would check that. And when you go to put this back on, there's two tabs here in the, in the back that have to go down in some holes. So make sure they get in there. So, pretty simple. This and three clips. Yeah. And if I can find some of this stuff on Amazon, I'll put some links to this down in my description and maybe in my first comment also. That'll help some of you guys out. All right, that's good enough. Take my funnel out. Don't forget to put your cap back on. Now I can put my dipstick back in and check my oil. Push it all the way in, pull it out. All right, it looks like it's right at the top of them hash marks, but I am going to put that back in. Now I'm going to start this car, let it run for a couple minutes, shut it off. Then let it sit for maybe five or 10 minutes so all the oil goes back down into the bottom of the sump. And then I'm gonna recheck that oil. All right, I'm ready to put my tire back on. And if you wanna torque these on, it's 94 foot pounds. And I'll show you how to tighten the lug nuts off too, even if you don't have a torque wrench. You're going to want to put your lug nuts on by hand first. You always want to try to put them on by hand. You don't want to strip these out. Just going to put these on a little bit with this. All right, now when I'm tightening these up, you're not going to want to tighten, like you're not, wanna go, you're not going to want to go in a circle. You're going to want to tighten that one. You want to go in a star pattern. So we're going to tighten this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. doesn't matter where you start, but just keep going in a star pattern. So if you don't have a torque wrench, just tighten them up pretty tight. Oh, shoot. i got to put the jack down. Let me jack it up, take it off these jack stands. I want to tighten these up a little bit more before I take put it down. Now I'm going to check them with my torque wrench. Ninety-seven foot pounds up here. go. All right, well that's about it. That's how you change your oil in your 2022 Honda Pilot. If this video helped you out, please leave me a comment down below just saying thanks. 
or let me know where you live. Hit that subscribe button to help support my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. God bless and have a great day.